Uh, Doug in North Carolina. Hi, Doug. What's on your mind? Scott Mitchell is on my mind, Dan. Scott Mitchell, the former Lions quarterback. I'm sure you remember when the Jordan documentary came out and Scotty Pippen had a had his response. What Scott Mitchell did yesterday pales <laughs> and it, it, it just puts it takes it to a whole new level. On his Facebook account, he wrote. I am so tired of hearing that I'm the reason Barry Sanders never won a Super Bowl. I'm so tired of hearing how, that I was not a good QB. My only response is expl- expletive deleted. That includes Eminem and Jeff uh, Daniels. And then he goes on to say, how many yards did Barry have in the playoffs in 94, 94, 94, 95, and 97? I'll give you a hint. It wasn't many. We're all to blame for not winning a Super Bowl, even Barry Sanders. And I just think of what a class act Barry was on the show yesterday. And to to wake up and see Scott Mitchell do this is pathetic. Well, he's defending himself because he's being blamed. And Scott did have a couple of really good years. And he's right. Barry did not do well in the playoffs. And Scott Mitchell, I guess, has heard this, continues to hear this. Now it's put in a documentary that – he's the reason why they didn't go further in the playoffs, didn't even win a playoff game, that it can't be Barry's fault, it has to be his. But I I understand why he would still be upset with this. And and you got to look at his numbers, though. He's got better numbers in Detroit than you think or you remember. I think he had two seasons where he threw over 30 touchdown passes at a time in the NFL – when even Montana and Elway weren't throwing for more than 30 touchdowns in a season. Yes, Paulie. Scott Mitchell back in the early 90s was the first guy to play a handful of games and get the big contract off it. So he was a backup with Miami in 93. He, played, he was 3-4, and four, had like 12 touchdown passes. Detroit paid a boatload of money to add him to Herman Moore and Barry Sanders. He had a season in 1995 where he's 10-6 and six as a starter, 4,300 yards, and 32 touchdowns and 12 picks. It was very good. And then he had a couple of mediocre seasons, and he kind of just faded away. He got a contract. He filled in for Marino. I think Marino blew out his Achilles. Scott came in, played well, and then got a contract with Detroit. Now, I don't ever remember uh, anybody playing against Detroit going, you know what? If we stop Scott Mitchell, we stop the Lions. It was if we stop Barry Sanders, we'll stop the Lions. Scott was a good quarterback. Not great. Doesn't deserve all the blame. But now people are probably going to watch the documentary just for what is said about Scott Mitchell. When Jeff Daniels, the actor, and Eminem are criticizing you, he probably thought, all right, enough is enough. You know, Barry and Barry in his three playoff appearances wasn't good at all. I don't even think he had maybe 30 yards total. One playoff game, he had minus two yards. So Scott is right that. You know, Barry did have games where he didn't play well. But I think they had one season where they had two receivers who had 1,000 yards. Barry had 1,500 yards. They were a a really good offense. And Scott Mitchell is just not going to take it anymore. I think he had some colorful language. He's like, basically, bleep you. Yes, Pauline. I sense uh, dueling documentaries. I'm waiting for the Scott Scott Mitchell Mitchell? story. Yes, I'll produce that bad (laughs) boy. You're going to be waiting a long time. Yeah, Barry Sanders had he had a couple good playoff games. Like early in his career, he had 113 yards in a playoff game. He had 169 in a playoff game, but then he had 13 carries for minus one yard. In yeah, a game. yeah, yeah. He had a couple of bad playoff games. Yeah, out of out of nowhere, Scott Mitchell off the top rope. Yes, let's go. Yeah.